the shop, huh? Yep. We're not gonna pick it up? Truck's getting a bit full. So like this thing burn where it's land. Dear Heavenly Father, please grant this soul the rest it deserves. May you find your peace at last. Amen. Amen. I don't think it's dead, Pa. Of course it's dead. I shot him right in the skull. <laughs> It's okay. Gather around. Come in tight. Squeeze in. Now, I've made a lot of promises. Up until now, I've kept most of them. I fed you. Kept you safe. Hell, we protect each other. But I've been hearing rumors lately that some of you ain't so happy anymore. <laughs> I know food's scarce. And it's getting harder and harder to survive every day. But I, brothers have recently come into contact with a man who can help us. Before this disease spread across the land, this man was in a position of great power. He had anything a man could ever desire. The only thing he doesn't have is a woman. A woman to carry his bloodline. We could always send him Sally. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, of course, of course. I know, a woman like that does not exist. No, she doesn't. But a girl like that does. She lives just right over the hills with an old friend of mine. <laughs> I want a piece of her first. She's pristine. Food, water, ammo, anything we need. Anybody so lays a hand on that girl, but to bring her to me, I will personally cut you up and feed you the rottens. You, you, load up. We're taking a ride. <laughs> Thank you. For what? Back there with the rotten. I'm getting careless. You know, you're getting to be a pretty good shot. I'm glad I taught you. You know, I'm thinking of uh, heading over to Shambles tomorrow. I'll we'll see if they got anything worth trading for. Can I go? Now, Emma, we've talked about this. You know, I can't let you do that. <laughs> Come on, just let me come with you for once. It'll be fine, please. No. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on things. Keep things safe. Well, what is it, baby? That's just it, Pa. I'm not a baby anymore. I hate this place. It's so boring here. Boring? There's plenty for you to do around here. What about all those books? I practically scavenged an entire library I've for I've read you. them all. Some of them three times, but... That's not what I'm talking about. I want to go places and see things, and all I do here is pick vegetables and shoot rottens. Emma, there's nothing for you out there, kid. You know that. I mean, those things that we go out and shoot every morning, they're everywhere, which only proves my point. Don't you see, I'm trying to do my best to give you something resembling a normal life? I know, Pa, I'm sorry. It's just... I get lonely. I don't have any friends. Well, you got me. It's not the same. It can't be like this everywhere. You know, sometimes I wish I never learned how to read. It only makes me 
dream of things I can't have and places I can't go. Look, Emma, I know living the way we do must be hard. Believe me, I know. But you've got to understand, things are the way they are for a reason. I mean, it's no coincidence that those rottens are roaming the earth. And it's no coincidence that society's collapsed because of it. The good book speaks about this. Like the, the apocalypse, Armageddon, call it what you want, but there's no denying the times we're living in, these are the end of days. Those of us that continue to walk the righteous path and that who are thankful for the things that we do have, we're the ones that are gonna make it out of this and into heaven. But you've gotta realize what we're doing here. This is a battle between good and evil. It's a battle for our mortal souls and we can't afford to lose. May I be excused? Look, I don't mean to scare you, Em. I just, I need you to understand. I do. You know, maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea for me to take you out to shambles tomorrow. Really? I'll think about it, okay? Promise? What the hell? Damn, what is he doing here? Stay inside. Glenn? Jebediah? You know it ain't wise to leave that gate open like that. Oh, that's all right. What we're here for only take a minute. Oh, yeah? Then why exactly are you here, Jeb? Easy, preacher. No need to be like that. Truth is, I've been thinking a lot about religion lately, and I can't think of no one better to speak to than you. I'm not a preacher, Jeb, and I never was. If you got something you're feeling guilty about, you can take it up with God directly. You still have faith, Glenn? My faith in God is tested every day. My faith in mankind was lost a long time ago. Good, good, faith is good. Let's talk about the Bible. I'm not here to indulge your religious whims, Jeb. Now go on and get out of here, and don't come back. And you, be fruitful and multiply. Bring forth abundantly in the earth and multiply therein. You know, I read that in the Bible, Glenn. Yeah, well, it's a problem with the Bible now, isn't it, Jeb? You're easily misinterpreted by the confused. Be careful what you say next. Well, we have ourselves a problem, Glenn. Every day that passes, more of us die or turn into one of them maggot bags. Truth is, ain't no babies being born. Cycle's been broken, Glenn. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? You better hope for your sake that I don't. Everything okay? Get back in the house, Emma. We need your daughter, Glenn. It's for the sake of mankind. You'll rot in hell before you ever lay a hand on her. Just think of her as the savior of the human race. And think of me as a prophet. You've been corrupted by evil, Jeb. The devil has twisted your mind. Like I said, live in hell long enough, everyone turns into a demon. Get the girl. God damn, Glenn. I didn't think you actually had it in you. Dad? I see it. Jebediah, I'd turn around if I were you. Well, we ain't leaving that easily. Jebediah, I'm telling you to turn around right now. You got a rotten coming right up on you. What, you think I'm stupid? That's besides the point, Jeb. Now turn around or get out of the way so I can get a clean shot. Okay, brother, I got you. I got you, little brother. Just think about the old days when we used to get served beer from those big tittied women at the bar. It's okay. I got you. 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 Okay. 
He's gone to a better place. You should take comfort in that. This is all you're doing, Glenn. It's your fault. This ain't over for a long shot. I'm gonna get you, Glenn. You're gonna pay for my brother's blood. I told you to stay inside. He was aiming to hurt you. I was fine. Everything was under control. Will he be back? I wouldn't worry about him. I'm not gonna let him hurt you. Oh, damn, we got a twister coming. Come on, get to the cellar. Scare me even more than the rottens. Easy, girl. Been through these before. Remember that one time you, me, and your mom were down here way down to Twister, and that thing hit. She was baking pies for the fair. She didn't have time to turn off the oven before we got down here. She was so worried about those pies. Remember what you said to her? Yes, Pa. You looked up at her in all your innocence, and you said, "Ma, tell me about them." Bet you the wind from the twister will keep him cool. By the time we got out of here, those things were blacker than coal. <laughs> Your mother was so mad. Huh? Yeah. How did you do it? How'd I do what, Em? You know, when Mama changed. I didn't have any choice. It was the hardest thing I ever had to do. Yeah, I loved so much. I think it's past. I'm gonna go check on the fence. Stay inside. And this time I mean it. Me strength. Why, Paul? Why? I got bit. Maybe I won't turn. Better you bleed to death? At least I'd die a human. Stay with me, Paul. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here, okay? Just, can you stand? Can you stand? Are you. I think so. What happened? The fence is trashed. There's runs everywhere. We gotta get out of here. Where are we gonna go? Shambles. We gotta get to shambles. Glenn did this! He just left us out there to die! He's gonna pay for this. He's gonna pay. But the girl, I want her alive! <laughs> 